All right, so here we have an example. It says, what is the distance from the point 215 to the y-axis? If we plot the point 215, that's 2 in the x direction, 1 in the y direction, and then 5 up in the z direction. So we get this point here, 215. Now if we want to find the distance from that point to the y-axis, we're really just looking for this slanted distance here. This slanted distance. So there are two approaches we can take to solve this problem. We can look at this from the side, from the y direction. And if we look at it from the side angle, or the side view, this is um, at the heart of our three-dimensional problem-solving skills is to look at things from different angles or different perspectives. So this is going to be so useful for us whenever we get to problems, especially when we're talking about integration, is being able to look at these surfaces, these problems, these three-dimensional um, ideas from different angles or different perspectives. So if we look at it from the side view, the distance we want to find here is this green line. That's our distance d that we want to find. Now the height is the z value, and this distance down here is 2. So this distance down here corresponds to the base of the triangle. The height corresponds to the z value, that's 5. So now we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So now use the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. And what does the Pythagorean theorem tell us? It tells us that the sum of the squares of the sides of the triangle should be the equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So that's d squared equals 5 squared plus 2 squared. Now that tells us that d squared should be equal to 25 plus 4, which tells us that d should be the positive square root of 29. Positive because we don't have negative distances. In, it, in this course, we won't have negative distances in calculus 3. So we say the positive square root in this case. That is our answer. Now there's another way we can look at this problem. Some people take a different approach, and we'll look at that next. All right, so our second approach to this problem is going to be, well, let's again plot the point, 2, 1, 5. And our second approach to this problem is going to say, what is the closest point on the y-axis to our point 2, 2 1, 5? So the closest point on the y-axis, what is the closest point? on the y-axis. Well, that point is going to be our second point for which we can use the distance formula. Now, how do I figure out what the closest point would be? In a, in a more advanced type of problem, this is not obvious. But in this kind of problem where we're just learning um, the basics of three-dimensional space, the closest point is actually going to be the one that has the same y-value. So the same y value is going to tell us what the closest point is. And that's going to be the point. So the answer is the point 0, 1, 0. There's no other point on this line. We'll just think about this intuitively. There's no other point on this line closer than 0, 1, 0. So now that we have the closest point, all I have to do to find the distance between my point, 2, 1, 5, and this point, 0, 1, 0, is use the distance formula. So if we use the distance formula, we get that d should be the square root of, and then we'll take this point up here, 2, 1, 5, to be our x1, y1, z1. So we'll do 2 minus 0 squared plus 1 minus 1 squared plus 5 minus 0 squared. which is going to be square root of 4 plus 25, just like we got before, the square root of 29. 
to the same answer.